cool guys today so we are gonna do a really quick roasted chicken so we got our chicken drumsticks here we are gonna roast it really really quick and easy and very simple and then we're gonna finish it with a few of these spices so I got black pepper table salt some bay leaves turmeric powder this is red chili powder this is Kashmiri red chili powder and we got some garam masala some coriander powder and some chicken masala and then we're gonna add we're gonna cook uh, cook this chicken off and then the plan is to make a quick curry a gravy based curry and then we're gonna add in some veggies in it as well as along with some uh, I got some leftover lentils and add that in cook it off and then we're gonna prep our meal all good so stay tuned so what we are going to do now is we're going to mix all these spices together into a bowl and then we're going to sprinkle it through alright so first let's go with some turmeric I'm going about I like it a little bit spicy so I'm gonna go a little bit more on the chili one two about two and a half Then we'll go with some coriander powder. That's one, two, two spoons of coriander powder, one teaspoon of garam masala. And we're gonna go with two spoons of chicken masala. Uh, go two and a half of chicken masala all right now just mix it all together Do a nice good quick mix so we have mixed it all together like you can see it's mixed nice and even now let's put pop this into our chicken there's our chicken now let's sprinkle sprinkle this onto our chicken I like to do it using my hands if you have noticed I'm cooking with the skin on the reason being I want to retain the moisture because there is still a bit of uh, with when you cook with skin on it actually it actually keeps the moisture of the meat intact which is actually pretty good pretty good when it comes to cooking you know so just turn it around So what you can do is you can just give it a nice good good wiggle. Just turn it around. So that actually gives a really nice good coat. You can see here all our chicken is very nicely coated. As you can see look it's coated pretty nice. Everyone has their own ways of doing things. This is how I like doing I like doing my chicken. You guys can put a drop on your comment box and you can tell me how you guys do it and I might give it a shot. It's always good to learn new techniques and new ways of doing things. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add our bay leaves in. So we're going to tuck bay leaves. We don't need a lot of bay leaves. We just need a few few of them here here and there so we have it tucked in and the best part is like it actually gives out the flavor it's pretty robust so you actually get the flavor really really nice and good and let's go one more in here then we're gonna season it with some freshly crushed pepper I'm a big fan of pepper so I like I like fresh crushed pepper on my chicken it helps keep the 
I like I like the heat that comes out of it and then you're gonna season it with some salt you can never you can never go wrong with this salt is life and then remember when we cook this it's gonna give out a lot of flavor out you know so we are gonna get heaps of really really nice good flavor that's gonna come out of this dish there's also a variation where you can even put in a bit of ginger and and garlic if you if you like to but at this point of time I'm not going for it I always like to drizzle a little bit of olive oil on the top not much just a little bit so that we actually can actually fry it off really nice and easy you don't have to but then it just helps in in roasting this beautiful cute babies really well that's it now let's put this into an oven we have got our oven set at 190 degrees I put the fan on and I put the heating system on the top on let's put the chicken in and there goes our chicken boom it's good to go so to make the curry what we got here is we got some onion tomatoes got some mixed lentils curry leaves a little bit of green chili red chili ginger and garlic and we are going to use the same masala that we used for making the mix how we marinated the chicken so we're going to use the same thing and along with that we're going to add we're going to cook all this using some good old extra virgin olive oil sweet now let's begin cooking let's begin now let's go with about 25 ml of olive oil and let's wait till the oil heats up all right you can check if the oil is heated by just adding a little bit of mustard seeds what I'm using here is black mustard seeds once you hear it popping that means it's ready to go and as you can hear it started popping you're gonna add one tablespoon of mustard seeds now the mustard seeds popping and we're gonna add in add in our curry leaves and the curry leaves pop along with our chili okay. give a nice good stir this is going to be our base now we're gonna add in our onion As you can see our onions are just turning brown that's what you're trying to get our onions are nice and brown to start sitting brown we're going to add in our ginger and our garlic ginger in My garlic and then we put our chili and then our tomato and we just let the tomato to melt so what we want to do is the tomato will start disintegrating some people call it let the tomatoes melt everyone has their own terminology with things so what that's what we are doing we're going to put the heat on low a bit and let things let things take its time and and put the flavor in so as you can see our tomatoes are almost disintegrated now we're going to add in our lentils add it in our lentils there we go now we're gonna let the lentils get cooked then we're going to make a well in the center where our 
our masala mix is going to go in. Now we're going to coat the whole this whole mix in our masala. It will just take about a minute, minute and a half to cook them up. So what we are doing is we are activating all the masalas that's in here. You can use any kind of beans. You can use black beans. Here I have used lentils and pulses. So it got, it's a mix. It's a mix with lentils and pulses mix. And now what you do is you add in your water. Don't need much. A little bit of water. Just gonna cook cook this one off. What we are gonna make is we are gonna make a slightly slightly thick gravy. What generally I do is just to bulk it up. I always I had some frozen veggies in my my fridge, so I'm gonna add that in. This is how you bulk up. Bulk up your prep. It's very easy. Just pop that in. What I'm using here are winter veggies. It's winter in New Zealand, so it's always good to have some winter veggies around. So I'm gonna just pop that in. And a little bit more water because I think it is it's a touch more. Touch more water. Just give it a nice good mix in. Because it's frozen veggies, you do remember that the veggies are going to give out a little bit of water because it's frozen. And then we finish up with some salt. And some pepper. Then we just mix it all in. We put the lid on and let it cook on a low heat for some time. Here's our beautiful chicken. She's cooked to perfection. What I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna portion this chicken out. Yeah, and then the liquid that you can see, you know this liquid that's in there? Liquid all in the middle. That is excellent. So what I'm gonna do is once we finish cooking our, our dish, we're gonna add this juices along with a little bit of a little bit of lime juice. I'm gonna dump it into there, and that's gonna be a concoction, and that is going to enhance the flavor immensely. Okay, so we have got a gravy bit ready to go, nice and tasty and yummy, and we got the chicken, and we have set up our platters. Now we are gonna quickly portion this, and let's go. This is the ultimate gem. So we got all the gravy out there. And pour a little bit of lemon juice. Give it a nice. I'm doing it, I'm just giving it a nice quick mix. We can't waste this. This is flavor guys. This is this is the ultimate flavor. Because we have cooked our chicken in for about half an hour. And this juice is what it's all about. So you dump this nice gravy in. And that is why if you observe, I, I did not make it too runny is because I was waiting for this juice to come in. Once we pour this nice goodies in and give it a nice, I don't know if you can see it, give it a nice good stir in. That's heaven on earth. You can smell the whole flavor that's in there. This is, this is the veg. This is a very good way how to use the vegetables that's in your fridge. Some of the canned vegetables that's in there but you don't know how to use it. This is a really good recipe to do it. And now let's plate this up. This is going to be nice quick and easy. You're going to just pop the chicken legs in. So we will be adding in 
our veggies, our beautiful nice veggies. We're gonna pour in little by little. And then I got I got some rice that I had cooked previously. Not gonna be much, just a little bit of rice because I'm trying to keep my carbs low. There we go, a little bit of rice. It's ready now, let's do a quick montage. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Click the bell okay. icon my and get notified.